Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Tosh Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. I want to welcome Brandon the Bull Halsey to the show for the very first time. Has a big fight coming up here, man. He's 31 years old. He's 11 and 3. And uh, his last fight at PFL2 here in Chicago, he beat Shlamanan Rama. What's going on, man? Thanks for having me on. Well, I appreciate you doing this, man. It's, it's short notice. So I'll be quick for you here. But uh, the last time you fought in Chicago, you looked phenomenal, man. I mean, I, I can't tell you. I think the, the commission here in Illinois, obviously, you know, they got that wrong. But nonetheless, you got the win. You move on. And you're fighting Vinny Magalhaes here soon. Um, what are you kind of doing to prepare for Vinny's jiu-jitsu? I mean... You don't plan on the fight taking place on the ground, do you? You know, we 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 prepared for it. Me and Antonio um, he had gone over, uh, you know, position after position. Um, with my strong wrestling base, um, you don't see many really correct my problem as long as uh, we keep keep our position and keep strong. So we're uh, we're comfortable wearing the fight dress. Absolutely, man. I mean, as I said, you looked phenomenal in your last fight here in Chicago. What has uh, joining a team like the Body Shop, man? You look like a, a totally new fighter. Has it given you like renewed life? Oh yeah. Um, you know, I was coming off uh, you know Bell Tour at 185, moving uh, up to 205, and joined the Body Shop last June. Uh, uh, it was the best thing for me because Antonio McKee is able to uh, take a wrestler and really transition him into an MMA fighter, which my old trainers weren't doing that before. They're trying to teach me how to fight a kickboxer. And like I said, I'm not a kickboxer. I'm a wrestler that's turned into an MMA fighter. And he's able to see that and develop it. For sure. I don't I don't know how that you ever made 185 pounds because seeing you in person, you are a big 205 pounder. And when I say big, I mean you're very heavily muscular. The move to 205 what has that done for your game? Because obviously you, you look like you are carrying much more power, but besides that, what, what else has it done? It's it just it life in general. I mean, it was miserable. I'm walking down to 225, I'm uh, coming 50, 40 pounds. It's, it's taxing on me and it's my life. We had to focus a lot of, uh, of our training on me cutting weight and doing that around, especially the last month of training. So, a lot of it was taken away from doing technique and really focusing on developing me rather than trying to cut weight. So moving up to 205, it's giving me a lot more energy, a lot more explosion. I don't have to worry about cutting weight as much, and I'm able to focus more on my training. For sure, and I've long said that I believe Antonio McKee is one of the, if not the best coach in the game, uh, and, and I'm so happy now that the body shop is starting to uh, to produce guys and people are starting to actually take notice now. And of course, you're you're a big part of that, man. You know, Vinny Magalhaes is a guy that was thought to be when he kind of broke into the sport. He had this big, a lot of hype around him. You know, he he uh, he's a phenomenal jujitsu practitioner, but there is holes in his game. Do you like to watch film on fighters, or do you just leave that to your coach? You, usually, I used to leave that to my coach if they like recommend like, hey, you should see this or whatever. I don't like to dig too deep into it. Uh, I, I just have always even back in wrestling. I, I didn't watch really that much film on my opponents, but uh, I just relied on my coaches to, to kind of put me in the positions I need to be in and execute a game plan. So, uh, you know, I feel like he McKee and when he watched film on and told me what to do and we've done over a hundred times in practice, um, I feel like I, I'm good to do it. For sure. Well, I always like to give you guys a, a few minutes here at the end to shout out your coaches, sponsors, training partners, whatever you'd like, man. The floor is yours. Yeah, no, I'm going to give it out. Uh, props to you know, Antonio McKee, coach, and trainer. Uh, put me in a position where uh, we could dominate. Um, my fight management, Dave Thomas, the TNT fight management. Uh, I sponsors my Drill Life, um, Scotch program. So I, I appreciate everybody that's supported me. Well, I appreciate your time, Brendan. Uh, you have a huge fight coming up here. It's going to be taken on Vinny Magalhaes August 2nd. Thanks for your time, Brendan. Yeah, thank you. Take care, brother. <laughs>